Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Happy Friday as well. Today I thought I would do sort of a day in the life, kind of a follow me around, get some things done. <laughs> it's the end of the week and we've had a pretty busy week. Actually, we've had a pretty busy last few weeks in terms of like classes and all kinds of like dentist appointment, orthodontist appointment, it's just all the appointments in summertime. Today, we actually have nothing, <laughs> nothing that's booked, nothing that's timed, no kind of, we don't have swimming today, we don't have any doctor's appointments today, no lessons, nothing. So I'm using today to um, kind of catch up on some stuff, some stuff around the house, but mostly just some little errands and things that I want to get done before the weekend. So uh, that's what I'm going to do today. And I thought I'd take you guys along. My plan, first of all, I have to do some, I have to like start the day off by doing some laundry. So I'm going to switch some laundry out, put a load in and have that going. Then what I'm going to do is I have been going through, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted that I was going through our bins that we have in the basement. Kind of long story short, if you're new here, I have six kids and like we're done, we're done having our family. I mean, you know, in terms of planning, we are done. My youngest is five. She's turning six this year. And so we are done with our family, but we have kept a lot of hand-me-downs, like a ton of clothes, which my defense, not that I need a defense, but we have actually used a ton of it. So I've been thankful and I've been happy that I've kept what I've kept, obviously just things that were in decent shape and that I thought we could pass down. Mostly girls clothes because we have four girls and two boys. So most of it was girls clothes. I thought, you know what, like I have done some purging and sorting before. To be honest with you though, like I just was not, I don't know, <laughs> I think the combination, I mean, I'm saying like my youngest is turning six, but you know how it is when you have your last, it doesn't even matter if you have like two kids or five kids or whatever, they're just your baby, no matter what. And so when I look at her, she's still a baby. And I, I'm still sort of, I don't know, I'm just getting out of that. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm just getting out of that whole like feeling like I still, like have a baby and all the emotions of that. Also getting out of all the emotions of being done with having kids and all, that's like a whole other video, but it's just a very emotional time, no matter what, like thinking about your kids growing up and all that kind of stuff is emotional, but especially being in that sort of stage of life where you feel like you're not starting your family anymore, you're kind of in this other stage of just raising your family. It's wonderful, don't get me wrong, but my point is that that combined with the last couple of years chaos in the world and all the things I was not in a mental or emotional state to be going through bins of baby clothes and stuff like that and to get rid of anything to be like quite honest I felt ready I felt like I could do it I felt like it was time to free up some space and I wanted to be able to donate because I have a ton to donate that's what I have been doing the last couple of weeks I've been going through bins I think I've been doing a really good job I've consolidated I mean I think I still have a couple that I need to go a couple of odd ones that I need to go through so far I've turned like six bins. I'm talking about like those big like plastic bins. I've like consolidated all that into one bin of keepsake things that I'm just, I'm just either not sure about whether I want to part with or I know for sure it's just some things I want to keep. I know I'm, I'm going to pat myself on the back. I'm doing pretty good, but I do have a ton that I want to donate and I have already, we've done tons of drop-offs already at Goodwill. I have another two, I'll show you guys. I have another two huge like garbage bags filled with things to donate. My plan is to do, because that's been sitting, I've been doing it kind of like in the hall, schoolroom area, and it's just taking up a ton of space. So my plan is to load the car, drop that stuff off. I may pop into Goodwill and take a look at their book section, because another thing you may not know about me, or you may know about me, I don't know if you can see back there, that's just a portion of my books, but I love to read, I love books, I love thrifting books, so I always like to take a peek and see what they have. And then I have some stuff to do because Finley's birthday is coming up. So actually this upcoming Monday is Finley's birthday. She's turning 16, what the heck? And then a week after that, it's Everly's birthday turning six. So it's very busy in all the birthday planning things. I have to go to Walmart. I have to go to the dollar store. I have to go to Indigo, to the bookstore. I think 
that's it. Like I think that's probably all I'm gonna be able to do today if I even get to all those places. And then I also want to edit a little bit. Did I also mention it's already like afternoon? Like the kids are just having lunch. So it's kind of a slow morning. I figured even if I can get some of that stuff done today, it's still gonna save me like from doing it all this weekend. That's the plan. I thought I would bring you guys along just for the heck of it. We'll see how much we actually get done. <laughs> These are the uh, not bins, uh, bags that I have, plus a pair of shoes of Mike's. Three of these are empty. One of those, I think it's the one that's down here, has um, things. So I actually emptied out three of these bins. Just have one filled down there. So I'm gonna load this into the car. Kids are, some of them are done. Some of them are doing lunch. There's another one over there. <laughs> so they're gonna do some lunch and then hopefully don't even look in the school room i still have to i'm checking to see because i'm expecting tons of packages i still have to clean the school room i still have to organize the school room i still have curriculum to order for this next school year and it's already like almost the end of july and i don't even know i don't even know where time's gone so we're just gonna tackle one thing at a time at Indigo, the bookstore. I thought I would actually come here first because it's sort of on its own in the area. Everything else is kind of in one other area, kind of grouped together. I thought I would get this out of the way because this area tends to get busier as the afternoon goes on. I'm gonna pop in there, of course, just look at books. <laughs> I do have some things in mind though that are um, birthday related. I am gonna be looking at those, but of course, when you're in a bookstore, you look at all the books.
Okay, back at the car. Sorry if you can hear it, like the air. It's so hot today. I, it's 34, 34 degrees Celsius outside. Just really, whoa, really hot. Mom's jamming in the car when the kids are not here. Walked around Indigo and I didn't get anything for myself. Shocker, I know. There's a few books that I've been looking at, but I think like most of them were like summary reads and I think I'm good for summer reads because I still have a few that I have not read and I don't even know if I'm going to get through all of them. So I thought, I mean, how many more books can I read before the end of summer? Because then when fall hits, like I'm pretty much like, I'm totally actually a mood reader. Once fall hits, I just want to get into other types of of books. There's a couple of things that she had asked for, that Finley had asked for, for her birthday. A couple of books that I couldn't find here. They were out of stock. That kind of sucked. But she usually asks for a few, but a lot of the times she wants me to just pick out books. That's usually what I do. And I'll kind of just... I don't know, get them started on some series or whatever. So um, I got her two books. I got her the first, are they both trilogies? I guess, yeah, are they both trilogies? I'm trying to think. I think they're both trilogies. Um, I got her the first book, the Caravel series. I was gonna get her the whole series, but I kind of just wanted to see. I like to start with the first books when there's like a series and then just kind of get some feedback and see what she thinks or whoever. And then if she likes it, then at least I know there's more books that I can get her. So I got her that one. And then I got also the first book of the um, Inheritance, the Inheritance games. Then I also got her, this was something she didn't ask for, but she's always using mine. I got her her very own Starbucks. Tumblr. She can use this for like cold brews and stuff. She is now my coffee partner. I mean, she doesn't drink coffee. She's turning 16, okay? She doesn't drink coffee every day. She doesn't drink like coffee coffee. She likes to have ice coffees every once in a while. I'll make them at home. She has one maybe once a week, if that. And then if we go out, you know, we might grab one. But um, she does like that. And then I actually have one by my bedside table, I like at, in my room, and I keep this just filled with water. I actually use mine for water. So she can do whatever, but I think she'll like that. I'll probably throw in like a Starbucks gift card. So I got that done, which was part of what I had to do anyway because a lot of what I was doing today was getting her like getting things for her I think I'm gonna go to Goodwill now I'll drop off the stuff there and then from there I will go to Walmart because they have a little bit of a book section there and I'm gonna look and see if they have anything that she wanted there and I might look at their gift card section and then yeah it's already four o'clock so Mike's not home yet, he's on the way. I don't wanna be out like too late from like when he arrives home. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the time. We'll see after we drop off the stuff and, and do Walmart and I'll check it. Yeah, it's a good workout. <laughs> we gotta get your steps in. Thank you very much. Yeah. Me too. Done. <laughs> so I um, did my donations. I ran into the Goodwill. Like I actually went inside. I actually went inside. I didn't find any books. I didn't have any luck there, but there's a dollar store. So I ran into there and I grabbed some things. I was able to find some wrapping paper, some gift bags, tissue paper, stuff like, kind of just stuff like that, you know, just things like that. Um, not the main decor or anything for her party, but just things like, you know, the things that are just so disposable. I mean, honestly, the decor is disposable too. But do you know what I'm talking about? Like wrapping paper, gift bags. I think they're just, it's not, it's not, I'm not trying to say they're not worth it in the sense of the thought and it's all that kind of stuff. But I just, okay, it's really sunny. I just hate spending a lot of money on that stuff. So usually for the kids' birthdays, you know, we kind of like, they pick a theme or we pick a theme, like a fun, whatever they're into that year. And I'm fine with doing all that, but all the wrapping and extra things like that, I try to, that's where I kind of try to cut corners a little bit. I was happy I got that. Um, so now it is five o'clock. I'm gonna head to 
Walmart. Mike just, um, I just got a notification that he just got home. So good thing is because I hit the dollar store here, I don't have to make like a separate trip. So I'm just gonna head to Walmart and see, like I said, if I can find those extra books. What else was I, there's something else. We have these spring rolls from Costco. They're like these fresh spring rolls that everybody loves. So I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna have the spring rolls and I'm going to pick up like a family pack or something, or like a two, I don't know, of sushi. And I think maybe that might, I'm gonna try to see if that can be our dinner for tonight. We've never quite done that kind of combo, but it seems fun. I'm gonna pick that up too. And I think, I'll have to double check my list, but I think that's it. Then we'll head home and we'll have supper and kick off the weekend with quite a bit of stuff done that I need to get done. So, yay for that. You said that you needed me Like a cargo you will carry me decor the cake usually we don't get that until like the day before or even the day of because it takes up so much room in the fridge i think she said she wants um meatloaf i think she said she wants meatloaf for her birthday dinner but i'm gonna have to double check and i didn't even like now at walmart you have to pay it's like the carts where you have to put the quarter in. i just didn't want to be bothered and i and but then on top of it i couldn't find any baskets I guess nobody else wanted to get a card either. So I was just like carrying stuff in my hand and so I didn't want to like start messing around with ingredients for things like that. I may just place a grocery order for that because I have to get Cinnabons. For birthday breakfast, we do Cinnabons every birthday breakfast. I pretty much got everything I wanted to get done, done. When I get home, I'll be switching out the laundry, load of little girls laundry to do, um, and it all fit in one load, so that was good. And the boys both did their laundry today as well. To switch that out, we're gonna have supper. I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. Mike was like, Are, do I have to get dressed for any kind of outing you and I are doing tonight, any kind of date? I don't know. Um, I don't have anything planned. I don't think he has anything planned, but maybe we will just, I don't know. Sometimes we like to just go and like find a patio somewhere, you know, like a restaurant patio. And then we just kind of have a drink. Sometimes we have a dessert or something like that. And we just kind of chat and hang out. And because it's so beautiful out, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing that. I don't know if I'm gonna film anymore. So if I don't, thank you for spending most of the day slash afternoon with me. If I do film, I mean, I'll see you in the next clip. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy just kind of coming along, getting some stuff done. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Would you call?